Hello everyone, this is Sean with Fratline Emblematics in Louisville, Kentucky, and welcome to part three in our series of how to clean and restore Masonic aprons. In this segment, I'm going to discuss presentation aprons, which are sometimes erroneously re uh, referred to as candidates aprons. These are the aprons that are presented to uh, new Masons when they join a lodge. Uh, they come in various sizes, various styles, um, but uh, when I say they're erroneously referred to as candidates aprons, what I mean is, is that they are not presented to a Mason until after he's obligated as an entered apprentice, most oftentimes at the um, conferral of the apron lecture. In a lot of jurisdictions, the apron is presented to the newly uh, obligated entered apprentice, and then he wears that same apron in the fellow craft and the master Mason degree. In our jurisdiction in Kentucky, the apron is not presented until he is raised as a Master Mason and it's given as a token from the lodge uh, to the newly raised Master Mason. So let's take a look at these and I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, and the ugly of presentation aprons. So let's start with this apron here. This is a unlined, probably uh, lamb skin. It's hard to tell. It may be goat skin given uh, it's yellowing over the years. It looks to me um, that it has been exposed to moisture uh, and that has you know, further uh, caused its, dec its decline with the wrinkling and all that. Um, when we talk about cleaning and restoring aprons, uh, with presentation aprons, you, you can't confuse dirty with uh, aging. So white leather will age over time. Uh, what we wanna do is slow down the aging process. So this is a worst case scenario. This, this apron is very brittle. I did condition it a little bit, even though it's yellow, I did condition it. So it's not as what I would call papery. Um, so I did condition this part and this part of the body. I don't know if you can see in the video, but this apron had been folded uh, probably in quarters and um, just really mistreated over the years. So, but yet it's a survivor and uh, I'll just put it to the side. This apron is a presentation apron that is lined in uh, cotton linen underneath the flap it has the lodge name number with the presentation information the only thing i did to this apron uh, you can see a fold line here so it was folded over in storage unfortunately not laid flat it does have the white cotton tape ties that are still in good condition i did condition this uh, uh, panel over here with saddle soap and with this panel over here with a uh, contemporary type of uh, leather wipe, which is a cleaning and uh, conditioning type of wipe. I'm gonna lift the flap, I didn't do anything to the flap, I'm gonna lift, it, lift the flap. What we can see uh, here in our view is there's definitely a sheen uh, where I put the uh, saddle soap over here and the leather conditioner on this side. So I don't know if you can see that or not. Move this one out of the way. This is a brand new white leather apron taken from stock. Uh, you can see this is about as white as it can get versus a vinyl apron. This apron uh, is about, I'm going to say from the early 1980s. This one is again taken out of stock, so it's brand new and it is leather. Uh, they're both of the same style. They both have the um, card window under the flap as you can see so when these aprons are given out the best thing that you can do is to condition them uh, you know it, it, when you receive it the best thing to do is take it home and condition it either with some kind of a, uh, a product like this or saddle soap you don't ever want to get them very wet you just follow the instructions on the back of the saddle soap, which tells you to take a cloth or a sponge, get it damp, work it into a la uh, lather, and then just basically go over the entire apron in circular motion. After 
uh, you've let it dry, <clears throat> then you go back with a, a nice soft cloth and buff it out. That is, going to that is going to preserve this apron. With a vinyl apron, you really don't need to do anything. Um, <clears throat> they're gonna stay pretty much like they are from the day that you received them. As I alluded to in a teaser last night about this uh, part three, I'm gonna talk about apron storage. This is an apron tube. Perhaps your apron was presented to you uh, when you were raised as a master mason and they gave you a tube. The idea is to roll the apron and put it in the tube for storage. This is probably the worst idea ever conceived for a Masonic apron. And the reason why is this. As that apron sits for years and years in storage in a tube, it takes on the shape of the tube. So in our jurisdiction, the only time these aprons are actually ever uh, worn on the on the person is at your funeral so you can ask any funeral director uh, what a time it takes uh, to get these unrolled and they often have to pin them pin them uh, down so that they can stay straight so again worst idea ever so if you have an apron that's stored in a tube I urge you to go ahead and get it out uh, treat it condition it uh, it may have yellowed over time and that's okay, but treat it and then get it flat. Now, how are you going to get it flat? The best thing to do, and we'll just use this vinyl one for the example. The best thing that you can do is to unroll it and it's probably going to be hard to get it unrolled. But after you do lay some parch, take a piece of parchment uh, paper and lay that over the top of it. Make sure the cord and tassels, whether they're uh, rayon or cotton, Put those to the side and then put your parchment paper over it and then maybe lay some books or he anything that's heavy and flat on it to get it back into the flat shape and then after that you would either store it in a clear poly bag or even a uh, uh, an envelope will do but the main thing you want to do is get them flat um, uh, for future use and also let a loved one know where you've stored the apron uh, for that time that will undoubtedly come to us all. So uh, with presentation aprons, there's really nothing you can do to restore them per se. Uh, and if you do have an apron like this, um, you know, you might be thinking this one here is from probably the 80s. It's yellowed some, uh, somewhat. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you might think you can take some white stain shoe, shoe polish or that stuff we used to get in the bottle and put on our uh, sneakers when we were kids to whiten them up. You can do it. It will, it will stain it back white, but it's going to leave it kind of dull. So that's something I do not recommend. The best thing that you can do with presentation aprons is not worry about cleaning or, restore, or restoring, but uh, preserving them uh, for the future. So that's part three. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next segment.